Hey everyone, Damien to the bitch from the SCDM Network once more. Bring you a 1 vs 1 Dawn of All Souls Storm replay, should be interesting. <coughs> Sorry, between the uh, two players, Nemo as the uh, Chaos Space Marines and Maximus as the Chaos Space Marines. So, an interesting mirror matchup on uh, relatively balanced maps, so it should be uh, interesting to see what happens. It should be, it, it doesn't really matter if the map was a bounced anyway, because both are playing as Chaos, so I better actually remember the names, so Maximus and Nemo, yep, okay, since they're both Chaos. So yeah, it looks like um, they're both going for pretty different builds off the bat, actually. Uh, Nemo is actually going for a Raptor squad, and yeah, third uh, Celtus squad as usual. Well, Maximus, though, by the looks of it, he's only going for two Celtus squads, and he's going for an early Chaos Lord, so... Should be interesting to see um, how these differences pan out. So yeah, they're also going for a, uh, or Maximus is going for a uh, heavy bolter turret. So actually, if I remember correctly, if you place it here, I think they can actually um, cover this flank and this flank as well. But for whatever reason, he just wants to give some extra defense to this uh, flank at the expense of this flank. So will it pay off? Who knows? Who knows? So Chaos Lords almost almost out, and the uh, Chaos Raptors are out. So by the time they arrive at uh, Maximus's base, then um, yeah, he'll have his uh, Chaos Lord out most likely. Yeah, so yeah. Other than that, they're going for a relatively standard build. Just um, ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, just going for um, this to post on all the points and all that. And yeah, we've got an early engagement, uh, losing. A Chaos Raptor, so given that they, uh, yeah, they're yeah, pretty expensive actually for jump troops, um, pretty significant loss for the Chaos Raptor, but there you go, Maximus, oh no, Nemo was able to kill off one of Maximus's um, building units, and he actually managed to decap a, uh, is he going to decap it? Yes, he's, he'll, he's actually going to be able to decap this um, strategic point, so pretty good harassment by uh, Nemo actually. So it looks like, yeah, his uh, choice is going for uh, Raptors, and look at that, it's going to decap another point, so pretty good unit choice actually with um, going for those Raptors. To be honest, I was a little bit uh, skeptical, especially seeing as they were going to go up against a uh, Chaos Lord, but really, they got the speed advantage. Um, they can just keep on jumping around while the Chaos Lord uh, basically j chases after them, and uh, yeah, they're just going to keep on harassing and harassing, doing a bit of damage, and yeah, decapping points as well. Actually, they might stop this one from being capped. Nope. Oh. That's pretty good reaction time by Maximus, actually. He just he placed the listening post as soon as that strategic point was captured, so at the very least it'll um, stop those uh, raptors from uh, decapping that point. And yeah, the raptors might actually get uh, killed off entirely. But uh, yeah, they certainly did the damage that they needed to. They're capturing uh, multiple points and killing off a building unit. That's pretty good, considering that they also had a... Um, Chaos Lord basically following them around trying to do a bit of damage, and they might actually kill off another building unit of uh, Maximus as well. So for whatever reason they're trying to get into melee with him, probably better off trying to, um... Ah, okay then, get into... Uh, just keep them on range stance, and just keep them uh, moving around. But there you go, I managed to kill off the building units anyway, jumping straight into a fortified list post though. Losing uh, a couple of squad members, but yeah, overall doing pretty well, and they're going to tier 2. Just uh, have a look at what Maximus is doing. No, he's not going to tier 2 just yet. So yeah, it looks like Nemo will also have the tech advantage as well. So things are look, certainly looking up for Nemo at the moment. Although if he's not careful though, these uh, Raptors are just going to keep on costing him points about him doing that much damage. So it looks like yeah, he's just um, cruising around here yeah, looking for uh, easy targets like this uh, builder unit of uh, Maximus. Maximus is however you want to call it. So yeah, just check the... Um, well, there's only light harassment going on. I'll just check the resources of both these players. So we've got 86 and 24 Nemo, and 80 and 10 for... Oh, wait, what was that for Nemo? Whoops. Hang on, 86 and 20 for Nemo, and yeah, 80 and 10. Yeah, that's right, 80 and 10 for um, Maximus. So, yeah, that early harassment's certainly paying off. Uh, Maximus is now going to Tier 2, but if you see what the difference is... um. Between their timings, yeah, the timing is going to be way, way later for uh, Maximus, so it's just... Let's see, maybe um, this plasma generator will go down. Probably not, though. Um, Nemo's going to be losing quite a few infantry units here, and now the uh, Chaos Lord's coming in to disrupt them as well. So, yeah. Chances are they probably won't be able to do too much harassment. 
And yeah, this uh, this, this heavy bolter turret has actually done no damage at all. It's kind of funny, really. I suppose it might come in a bit handy later on, but the problem is it just has such a large area to cover. Um, those uh, raptors, they can just maneuver. Well, even standard trips, really, you can maneuver maneuver them away from the heavy, heavy bolter turret given its placement. So, I mean, it's placed more towards this uh, right opening here, which means the left opening is actually left entirely open. So. So good, and yeah, it looks like Maximus um, playing a bit of a game of catch up. He'll actually be going for more plasma generators, most likely. Yeah, more plasma generators than uh, Nemo. So that to me says he's probably going to go for um, a bit more of a vehicle based strategy. But what do you know? Nemo's going to be beating him to the punch there as well. He doesn't have as many plasma generators, but um, he's already building a machine cult, so should have a vehicle out um, probably before Maximus. So yeah, Maximus is at tier 2, finally. Although Maximus, um, if he keeps his uh, plasma generator advantage, which he might actually lose because now Nemo is building plasma generators, then yeah, he might be able to build more vehicles over overall, though. Have to see what happens. So yeah, it looks like Nemo is just doing a bit of harassment. You'll find that critical location has not been captured. But he's capturing the middle critical location. He's actually... Might, he might lose this entire squad of raptors. Yep. There we go, he'll probably um, retreat the squad. There we go, jumps are back, so pretty good uh, control. Barely uh, managing to keep them alive, so... don't know if it was really worth it though. I mean, there's no uh, critical location control victory or a uh, just regular point victory. So you can't win through that, he'll have to um, destroy... the uh, count or destroy Maximus's base, basically. And yeah, it looks like a D uh, Nemo's gone for a Helltown as a starting ca uh, starting vehicle unit, so yeah, it's a pretty solid unit actually. It can do quite a bit of damage to um, vehicles and uh, buildings. And yeah, which uh, actually is what Maximus is going for, is going for a Defiler. So Defiler won't really be able to take on this um, Helltown in a head-on confrontation. I'll just see if Nemo's going for anything else. No, but then again, it does have uh, his maxed out on vehicles, so we'll have to uh, get the vehicle uh, the uh, vehicle cap upgrade. He's actually going for the sacrificial circle. I don't see a um, an armory anywhere for him, so chances are he'll probably be um, going for a fast tier three as well, so he can get these elite troops most likely, or at least that would be my guess anyway. Look, actually looking at his power, it's 80, and his acquisition is 140. While for Maximus we got 122 and 66. So yeah, unfortunately Maximus is just lagging behind, uh, even when it comes to the power resource. Although. He did have an initial advantage uh, when it came to the, um, the number of plasma generators, but uh, the problem is Nemo. Um, well, Nemo just had to farm more acquisition coming in, so he could easily just build into some more uh, more uh, <laughs> plasma generators. And his cults, unfortunately, take a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure. Yep, they spotted that um, firm of plasma generators, so they'll know that uh, Maximus is going to make a bid for that. But at the same time, though, his own plasma generators were built, so. Yeah, it looks like as if he's just been thinking a, a few steps ahead of um, his adversary Maximus. And yeah, he's actually um, slowly decapturing the strategic point. And he's actually going to be capturing it now. And at the same time, they're using the uh, Hell Talent to try to do the damage to the barracks. I don't think he'll be able to destroy that before getting killed off by the... Uh, that's kind of funny, before getting killed off by uh, Maximus's Hell Talent. But we've got a reinforcing squad of... Um, Horrors, so rather horrific. Eh? But anyway, um, so they were able to uh, ward off that, yeah, that hell talent of Maximus. So we got sacrificial circle coming down for him. Not really seeing a tier three advancement. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's going to tier three. So yeah, he just wanted to get out, out to the um, horror squad just to do some. Uh, oh, two horror squads actually. Wow, two horror squads and. A hell talent. That's a pretty heavy anti-vehicle, actually. But then again, he also he probably anticipated uh, Maximus using uh, anti, uh, or rather using uh, loads of vehicles. So pretty good anticipation in the case. Although Maximus um, at the same time is going to tier three. So Nemo, though, I think he'll arrive at it first. I'll just check. Oh no, actually Maximus will arrive at it first. Although I don't know how much difference it'll make, though. I mean, his machine pit's about to fall. Although his sacrificial circle is up though, and it does have a defiler to, to do disruption damage, so he might be able to delay um, to delay the advance of Nemo's troops just enough, maybe to bring out his own squad of possessed. Yeah, he's going for horrors instead. Well, anyway, just to bring out his own squad of uh, 
possess Chaos Space Marines or um, or that ant in conjunction with most likely have the uh, obliterators as well, but the problem is Nemo is not going to be that far behind actually. Yeah, so far it's actually been a pretty heavy uh, vehicle battle between these Chaos players. Which I suppose... Well, the problem with Chaos players is that um, when they go the Sacrificial Circle route during uh, Tier 2, or rather when they start with the Sacrificial Circle, the only anti-vehicle unit you know, they get is the hor are the Horrors. And the Horrors, they're not too bad, but the um, problem is once they get disrupted they take more damage, although at the same time they, they uh, don't becoming more inaccurate, which is uh, not too bad, I suppose. The thing is, their um, their range is not really that great, and uh, yeah, their morale isn't that great either, and their health is not too great either, so... They're pretty average anti-vehicle units, while um, if you go the vehicle routes as Chaos, then... Uh, oh, there we go. So we've got, looks like we've got powers possessed Chaos Space Marines for uh, both players. But anyway, yeah, when you go to the vehicle unit for Chaos, you get that very nice uh, Hell Talon, as well as uh, the Defiler, which is like a bit of a jack of all trades, really. It can do melee damage, it can shell enemy points from afar, and it does um, pretty decent uh, range damage as well when it gets a bit closer to its, its targets. So yeah, because this Chaos Space Marines just going to town in these horror squads. Wow, it's a crap load of. Horrors, actually, and we've got even got the uh, Chaos Sorcerer trying to do a bit of uh, disruption as well. This is a horror squad just being forced to retreat. And there we go, we've got a demon pit out for Maximus as well, which I didn't notice, so he's going for Obliterators too. But what do you know, Nemo's also going for Obliterators, so. But the problem is, though, Nemo managed to destroy quite a bit of Maximus's um, infrastructure, so Maximus won't be able to resupply his squads quite as easily as uh, Nemo will. So we'll just see if we can compare their numbers. So Maximus has got 9 and we've got 7 for uh, Nemo, so at the moment though Maximus does have the advantage when it comes to the sheer number of uh, possessed cow space marines, but of course I should say Maximus has got the advantage, but Nemo has got the advantage when it comes to being able to uh, resupply them. But what do you know, Maximus is actually doing a bit of a counter-attack with the horrors and the uh, hell talent on uh, Nemo's base, so Managed to destroy listing posts, so that'll certainly count. Um, and they might. No, nah, I don't think they'll be able to destroy that demon. Uh, that uh, demon pit, though. So. Although they might, though, because the only unit that's being brought against them is uh, Amor Horrors. And can Horrors do melee damage, melee attacks by default? I can't remember. It's a while since I used them. So, do you know, a hell of a counter attack, actually. And we got um, the Obliterators being pursued by. Uh, with Nemo, Nemo's bit of it, should I say, being pursued by Maximus, so... Wow, that's a hell of a turnaround, actually. So now, just about for the first time in the game, looks like Maximus is now on Nemo's uh, doorstep to his base. And yeah, Nemo's actually in pretty big trouble, although, what do you know, he's bringing in there two Predators, or they're going to be up against Horrors and uh, Obliterators, as well as Possessed Cow Space Marines, although, what do you know, we've got a Possessed Cow Space Marine Squad coming out for Nemo, and we've got a uh, Horn Berserkers as well coming out, so... As you can see, they're a pretty beefy unit, you know, they've had their uh, corn flakes, so to speak. And uh, yeah, they're certainly re rearing to get to a bit of a uh, fight. And yeah, they actually, um, they're fearless as well, they don't have any uh, any morale or anything, so... They'd uh, be at least a pretty good stopgap unit, you know, so and what do you know, uh, Maximus is actually... Uh, being forced to retreat a bit, but at the same time the Maximus, I think, has managed to almost completely ob obliterate the uh, Possessed squad, even though his own obliterators are actually getting chased around by these uh, Corn Berserkers, uh, just high on Corn Flakes, I suppose. So yeah, now Nemo's base is actually slowly getting destroyed by Horrors, and... Let's see what his Predator is. Yeah, there we go, got one here. Actually, I think he, one of his Predators actually died. Yeah, because, yeah, they, I'm pretty sure these four uh, Vehicle cap H, and uh, pretty sure he was building too. Actually, if he focuses his fire and his chaos sorcerer, he'll be able to kill him off easily. There we go, down he goes, yep. But yeah, I don't know how much um, difference that'll make though, because yeah, we've just got a, a full yep, full squad of possessed marines, chaos space marines, and an obliterator squad as well to try to uh, deal with the chaos predators. The chaos predator is not actually being moved at all by Nemo, and uh, 
Yeah, it's just, wow, it's just going to town on uh, Maximus is going to town on Nima's base though, okay? Nima is delaying uh, the horror squads, they're actually rather disrupting them entirely. But yeah, we've got the uh, bulk of Maximus's army coming in to help them out as too. And we've got a second predator coming out for um, Nemo, so he's actually got two out on the field at the moment. So yeah, this one's barely hanging on, so he wants to send a vehicle, or rather not a vehicle, a builder unit to um, repair that. So yeah, pretty ferocious battle to say the least. Let's say Nemo will probably have the upper hand, probably because of these um, two predators, but what do you know, from behind, Maximus... Uh, come with his uh, demon prince has actually killed off one predator and now he's um looks uh, he's not focusing quite well he's focusing uh, his possessed cow space room squad on the on this other predator so yeah Nemo's finally retreating that and yeah these corn berserkers are yeah still doing a bit of damage to the uh, obliterators and yeah it looks like um oh no there's the demon pits here instead yeah Looks like uh, Nemo's got his own obliterators out. And yeah, he's rebuilding his uh, possessed squad. Oh, here we go, they looks like they teleported in. And we'll actually be getting a defiler out. Which is rather interesting, because you'd think he'd want to be going for a more uh, durable vehicle. That's the thing though, the obliterator does pretty decent melee damage, but um, if it gets into melee with those uh, possessed cow space range, it'll probably be done for. That's what the hell, we'll see what happens. Finally got the possessed Chaos Space Marines coming out for Nemo, and yeah, his defile will come out, so we'll just see what uh, what exactly he'll be doing with that. It looks like he'll be sending it into melee. No? Yes, he's sending it into melee, what do you know? So Demon Prince is actually... Uh, I think he's trying to attack the Chaos Predator? Well, I don't know, he's pausing for whatever reason, I'm not entirely sure why. And there we go, now he's uh, trying to walk away, so... Yeah, he might get focused down and killed, actually, if... Uh, Maximus is not careful. Same time though, we've got a defiler for Maximus and an obliterator squad as well, and the Prince here just retreating. A possessed squad for Maximus has actually been whittled down quite a bit. And Nemo's actually spawning in a couple of uh, horrors as well just to help take out this uh, defiler. So I think they've just been trying to send their defilers through, and keeping them back for whatever reason. The thing is, they're not doing quite as effective uh, damage because they're targeting the obliterators rather than uh, vehicles. But so what do you know, Maximus is uh, being forced to retreat. He does have a pretty sizable force though. Defiler, Possessed Guys, Marines, Demon Prince, uh, all pretty formidable units uh, in their own right. And yeah, while they're uh, just dancing about, I might just check the income for both players. So, we've got 156 and 105 for Nemo, and 149 133 for... Uh, Maximus. So Maximus does actually have the um, power advantage, so we should actually be seeing uh, more vehicles from it. But at the same time though, Nemo does have more requisition coming in. And what do you know, he's actually going to tier 4. Just check, um, see if Maximus is doing that. Oh, Maximus doesn't even appear to have a vehicle. Oh, there it is. But he's not going for tier 4. Or maybe he's at tier 4, but I haven't noticed. <laughs> so yeah, tier 4, um, yeah, it does actually do Do quite a few upgrades for uh, Chaos, so yeah, it's actually it was finished before um, Maximus was able to destroy this machine pit. So we'll probably see uh, maybe an upgrade for this Chaos Predator. Oh, no, wait. What do you have here? I think it's rather surprising. I think the um, tier four upgrade was cancelled because I'm pretty sure it would have succeeded if they kept on going. If uh, Nemo kept on going, but uh, for whatever reason, he uh, actually cancelled that upgrade. So. Maybe he's going to be aiming for more troops, but the thing is, he is floating quite a few resources. So unless, unless if he's planning to maybe uh, do a, a bit of a base trade with Maximus, and maybe to spend the uh, leftover requisition on the, a new HQ building, maybe. It might make, might make more sense, but that's the thing though. Even with going to tier 4 upgrade, uh, to tier 4, they'd still be able to afford a HQ building. They've just uh, saved up um, that many resources, so... Yeah, it looks like we'll be seeing a uh, base race. Yeah, by both um, players. Yeah. It'd be a bit hard to see to say who's going to come out victorious. I mean, Nemo did manage to do some initial uh, damage to the infrastructure of Maximus before, but at the same time, though, 
Maximus had a bit of a head start in destroying Nemo's base uh, before Nemo decided to walk all of his troops up to the uh, to our Maximus's base. So, a bit hard to tell. The defiler for Nemo has, go has gone down in case. Still got a couple of defilers remaining for Maximus and the machine pits producing a third while we don't have really much remaining for uh, Nemo at all. So, there we go. Yep, we've got a. Um, HQ coming out for Nemo. Actually, he's constructing it rather close um, to Maximus's forces. I was thinking he might maybe build it around here, or just a bit closer to their own army. So they, uh, it takes a bit longer for this, um, yeah, for Maximus to come over. But yeah, Maximus has actually got a chaos uh, um, demon. It's the uh, Bloodthirster. So Bloodthirster actually does pretty incredible damage in melee, especially against buildings. In fact, I think it actually does the most damage at, out of uh, any single unit in the game uh, towards buildings, including to H, or rather to heavy high, uh, oh, building high? Yeah, building high armor, which um, is uh, what the HQ is made of. So yeah, Blood First and the uh, Demon Prince have come in, and yeah, we'll most likely see uh, them popping up. But yeah, certainly very well fought by uh, both players. To be honest, I thought Nemo had it in the bank when he was attacking uh, Maximus's base, but um, yeah, Maximus actually managed to turn it around. So, and uh, yeah, one hell of a turnaround it was as well. He's actually getting a fourth, a fourth to fire. Oh, wow, going to be disrupting the hell out of um, Nemo's troops. Oh, what do you know? Those um, possessed cow space marines actually do get disrupted a bit. And yeah, they're just getting whittled down. And a couple left, and. Uh, Few obliterators left as well. Okay, so maybe it wasn't such a bad idea to put the desecrated stronghold there. I guess it would wouldn't have been spotted by uh, by Maximus. Hmm. Indeed. But yeah, I don't think it'll make too much difference, Sam, um, because yeah, Nemo is being forced to withdraw completely, and uh, yeah, his base is in complete shambles. While uh, Maximus still has his um. HQ building, which means he's retained that uh, upgrade to tier 3. And he's still got his machine pit as well. Oh, actually, that's right. Maybe um, they did manage to go to tier 4, but uh, yeah, that's right. The building might have been. Um, that's interesting, though. I could swear that for those sorts of tier 4 upgrades, though, the building can be destroyed and the uh, upgrade will still be there, but I might be wrong there. I might be mistaken on that. But in any case, looks like, looks like Dean Prince. Is being built for Nemo, although we don't have a. Um, I don't think we have a barracks for them, and we certainly don't have a. Um, a Chaos Lord, which is what you need in order to morph him into the uh, Demon Prince, so I don't think that's going to really make that much difference. And yeah, as you can see, the building was destroyed before the upgrade was completed anyway. But he did manage to reconstruct his um, HQ building, but yeah, the problem is the only troops he really has are the uh, obliterators. And a pretty sizable force of possessed Chaos Space Marines, but um, yeah, that's going to be changing uh, pretty quickly. I'm not entirely sure why, but Maximus is still leaving his uh, couple of units behind for whatever reason. I mean, his obliterators. Be oh, actually, he's going to probably put him in that building. Yep. Down they go. Blood first to taking a <laughs> bit of damage and uh, yeah, just being rather dramatic with its roaring and all that, but uh, not, not doing much damage there. So it looks like Nemo is actually, I think he's retreating to his base. Just see if it's been spotted. No, it hasn't. Actually, I don't think that they should have spotted that, but anyway. So yeah, if uh, Nemo's not careful, he's actually going to lead Maximus straight to his base. Oh no, he's actually going to um, Maximus's base. But I'm um, pretty sure Maximus would probably suspect that uh, Nemo's the remainder of Nemo's base will either be hidden in this pocket, which because I don't think he's explored that before, um, or in uh, this pocket of terrain. So Maximus uh, saying something with uh, a bunch of squares there, so a different language. Don't know what that is. Nemo saying good game. See, so yeah, it looks like Nemo is probably going to intentionally lead him. Yeah, actually, yeah, there we go. So yeah, Maximus certainly knows about um, Nemo's base, and uh, yeah, he's just uh, slowly tearing it apart. So yeah, not really seeing uh, 
last stand though, these possessed cow spice swings are being used to tackle this defiant so. And yeah, there goes uh, there goes Nemo, so the rather fabulous puff of uh, pink smoke. Which is kind of funny really for chaos. So yeah, there you go, this has been uh, Damien Dudovich signing off.